Hi, I'm Terry Smith from the Australian Access Federation. Welcome to building your cluster, getting started. First thing we need to do is set up our, the Kubernetes cluster. In this presentation, we'll do a basic setup of all of the nodes in the cluster, which includes the manager login node, three controller nodes, and three uh, worker nodes. Reviewing my server setup, we have the manager node where most of the action will occur, three controller nodes, control one, two, and three, and three worker nodes, node one, two, and three. And the domains for the core services our cluster will provide Federation Manager, Discovery Service, and the metadata. This setup will set up a password login for the Kubernetes nodes, set up a Docker engine, dis disable swap on each of the cluster members, stop and disable the firewalls, modify the bridge adapter settings, and disable extra network manager config. As there's a lot of repetitive operations being performed, I have written a small bash script that will help ensure all of the operations are performed correctly. This code can be found in the APAN TF IAM CIFLIN repository on GitHub. The script will run on the manager node and needs to be run as root. Uh, I have a Windows laptop. I use the tool WinSCP that works with PuTTY, allowing access to my servers. I use it to transfer files and start command line sessions. So let's get started. I've started the command line session with my manager server. I'm going to install the APAN Tuxtort IAM SIFLIN repository from GitHub. But first, I need to ensure that Git is the Git command is available. So I'll try to install Git. I need to be root first. So I'm now root. I'm trying to install Git. Okay. Good, Git's now installed. I'll continue running as root on the master login server. The next thing I need to do is install the repository. I use the git command to do this, to clone the repository to my server. So that's now cloned. Let's jump into the CIFLAN directory. And in there, we will find some commands. The prep nodes.sh is the command that we're after, and I've added a help option to describe what the command does. Let's have a look at that. So, this command allows me to create some SSH key pairs, set up a cluster username, uh, provides a file. Uh, Point to a file that will control the whole the cluster member details and defines a or well, lets me define where I want to put these scripts that are built by this. Um, so, the first thing we need to do is to create the cluster username using the minus u option and set up the SSH keys. The default username is iFireXman, but you can change that to whatever you want by using the minus u option. Okay, so minus C. Okay, let's be enter a file name when we put that, which is fine. We don't want any passphrases in the keys. There's a blank. And that's the first step done. We now have a user called iFireXman. Right, okay, 
the password directory. Okay. So we now create the IFRX men user and in the IFRX men user will be the .ssh directory that contains the public and private keys. You can see those the keys there, the private key and the public 